time. The other day, one of my students who's a therapist asked me about two simple things that he could give to a young man he's working with who are, is depressed. So the first thing that I thought about was offering the breath of fire because a young man had told me some years ago that that is what he did every morning to overcome depression. It's super simple, however you wanna do it right. So the breath of fire is also called Bostrika or a bellows breath. It is a rapid rhythmic equal inhale, exhale, sniffing breath through the nose. However, if you don't know how to do it, you might hyperventilate. So it's good to start out seeing where your breath is. I'll demo it that way first, then I'll give you an alternative if that doesn't work for you. So this is the full breath of fire. Show you my diaphragm so you can see the breathing. On the inhale, you want your belly to go out. On the exhale, you want it to go in. The pacing is up to you, but it is faster than your regular breath. So here we go. And inhale. Also, you can hear that this is an audible breath because you want to hear the breath. This makes the breath warming, cleansing, and detoxifying. So the people that have depression, the deal is getting them to move. This is an energizing breath, a detoxifying breath, and also a breath that can de-pattern physical um, habits we have in the body or even mental or emotional ones. But what if you feel like you're hyperventilating or you get confused, you lose the pattern? Then uh, the way to learn this breath is to stick your tongue out and to pant like a dog. So now I'll demo that. And remember your inhale and exhale are equal. There's another rapid breath in yoga we're not doing right now that is a little easier where you emphasize the exhale. So we're gonna be doing our breath of fire here with the tongue way out. You wanna really commit to getting that tongue out of the mouth. So here it goes. And you can really see my belly moving. So you wanna relax the breath down so you get that deep diaphragmatic breath. One way to get ready for breath of fire is also to just practice your yogi breath in and out through the nostrils so that you feel that expansion on the inhale and the contraction on the exhale. So that was the breath that I gave this man. Then the other thing that I gave him, super duper simple, again, with people with depression, they tend to turn their anger inward, uh, be stuck in the past, and they won't move. Sometimes they just have problems getting out of bed. So what you want to do is bring the energy up. So with a physical stretch, all I said to him, we could do this standing or seated, is simply inhale. Bring the energy up. Breathe the energy up. And just reach up and breathe. We need to get people who don't do a lot of yoga, who are not that motivated, really simple things. So before we close, just a little review of that. Breath of fire through your nose or with your tongue out and somehow stretching up, elevating, bringing our energy up. All right, I hope this little tidbit helped and thank you very much for listening. I'm going to stop recording now.